Yeah, I'm good. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? Appreciate that. I guess the uh, probably the first question I was gonna ask you. Um, and it's real broad. Um, I mean, wh what is love? What is when you see love? You know, when you think of the idea of love, what mm -hmm. is that? What, what would that? What is that Let's idea? See. What is love? Love is a uh, wonderful, sweet, dark, twist and confusing. Amazing thing, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's something that can align you in the most extraordinary way, but at the same time, destroy you in the most sickening way. It's, um, really just something that can really fuck you up emotionally, mentally, and sometimes physically. There's no real definition for love, to be honest, because... If you ask 20 different people what love is, you'll get 20 different answers because people have their own definition of what love is in their minds, and yeah. it all depends on what kind of love they experience, you know? Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, what people fail to realize is that love is not just riding for someone, dying for someone. It's more than that. It's putting your feelings, putting your desires to the side, and making sure that that person you love is happy even if you're having the worst day ever you don't care as long as the person you love is happy you'll be happy too love it's not caring what anybody else thinks like fuck all that big booty big ass titties big lit females you know yeah I, <clears throat> I love my girl and I don't care how many people talk shit or got something to say about my girl the only thing that matters is my perception of her and in my eyes she'll forever be my queen, she'll forever be perfectionist. It don't matter what y'all say, she's mine, not yours. Therefore, y'all ain't gotta worry about who she with, who I'm with. That's my baby, my everything. The woman with my wedding ring. I don't care what y'all think. I love her and we finna destroy and conquer the world together. Straight like that. That's some true shit, man. For sure. I hear you, man. Um, what does love mean to you? Like, how how is that valuable to you? Um, like, well, why do you care about that, man? I mean, love, love means the world to me. It means everything to me. Like, I love being loved, you know, because believe it or not, I don't care how hard, gangster, or real someone tries to act. Everybody needs love. Everybody needs it. You hear most people say, oh, nobody loves me, nobody cares about me, all that shit, when that's not true. There's someone out there that truly loves you, and you just fail to realize that, I mean, you fail to realize the love that they're giving you. And when you fail to realize that, it makes you think you're all alone in all the adversities you face. You feel like it's only you against the world that... Nobody would care if you died and killing yourself would be the most selfish thing because then you leave all the people that loved and cared about you, you leave them to grieve and fall into depression over you. That's why I always say love, it's a wonderful thing to have, but the most painful thing to lose. You know, I, I recall how you said, um, that there's always somewhere, there's always somebody out there that loves you, and you know there's one person that can always love you, you know who that is? Who? Oh. Yourself. Yeah, true shit. Because you gotta love yourself before you can love somebody else, like, that's just facts. If you don't even love yourself, how you gonna love somebody else, like, that shit don't work. Yeah, dude, that's that insecure bullshit, bro. Hell yeah. Is it okay to fall in love? Like, that shit's a lot of people say that shit's dangerous. Would you, would you consider that okay to fall in love? Um, of course, it's very okay to fall in love. It's okay to love, you know, um... Like, 
I think in today's society, we got too much fake love going around. So many people not showing any love at all, breaking people's hearts, leaving people alive for no reason, costing people, turning their backs on people. It fucks, it fucks people up so much that they don't even want to fall in love because they're afraid that once they give their love to someone, they're just going to run off with it and leave. And it kind of gets frustrating because to some people, including me, to the point where no one wants to show love and that love that they had turns into hate, which isn't good no matter how many times you get played or fucked over. Hate is never the answer. People want to talk about how fucked up love is and how it causes nothing but pain, but that ain't nothing compared to hate. Like, it ain't nothing compared to what hate can do to you. I mean, hate only has the intentions of destroying you, not saving you. That's true. You know, Martin Luther uh, King Jr., he said, uh, there was this one quote that really stuck with me when I first saw it. Yeah. Um, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Mm -hmm. Only light can. Oh yeah. And um, hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. In fact, I guess what you said kind of reminded me of that. When do you stop loving someone? When does it? When does it get to the point where you just can't? You can't love somebody anymore. You can't do it. When is? When is it too much? Um. To be honest. You never stop loving someone. I don't care how bad they treated you or how bad they broke your heart or how bad they hurt you. Like, once you love someone, you love them. There's no going back. There ain't no redo. It's just there. And it's never going anywhere. Now you can love someone and have nothing to do with them. As crazy as it might sound, it's true. You can love someone from a distance because being or getting close to them it's toxic for you so you have to stay away from them you still love them but from a distance you still want what's best for them you still wish the best for whatever happens in their life but like you moved on you know they couldn't love you enough but you've fallen in love with them and you can't help who you fall in love with love is love and if you love someone that love is gonna stay with them in you forever people may say oh they don't love that person anymore because of what they did in one but i bet if you were to look inside their hearts and see the love they have for that person they say they say that they hate them but it's not true you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it we all say things out of anger we all regret giving our all to people who have given us nothing, but one thing we'll never regret is loving that person. Does it mean anything to you if someone just says they love you? What's that mean to you? Does that mean shit? Uh, yes, but there's got to be more to it. Like, it's fine, it's good to tell someone you love them, but for most people it's even difficult to tell them why you love them and i think that's a real discussion we need to have as a society you know kevin gates once said that the word love gets tossed around so much we don't realize the significance behind it like it's easy to walk up to a random person tell them you love them and make their day but do you really love them can you tell that person why you love them or are you just saying you love them to make them happy. Yes, we all need to love one another and treat each other right and equal, but what's the point of saying I love you to someone if you don't mean it? It just ruins the whole significance behind it. I think the only time you should say you love someone is if you really mean it. Like, you have that special connection with that person to the point where you're willing to go to the ends of the earth for that person. And earlier I said that it's easy to say you love someone, but can you tell them why you see most people can't most people can't do it they can't tell you why they love you i mean if they say they love you like like they do then they should have at least a million reasons why they love you they shouldn't have to think about it it should come 
straight off the top of their head like numbers and I think if you could tell me that you love me, you should be able to tell me why you love me. And if you can't, then maybe you don't love me. You know? Do you know the difference between fake and real love? If so, what is it? Well, um, fake love and real love, um, like I said, the word love gets tossed around a lot in today's society, but it's all about the kind of love you're showing to someone or someone showing you. Um, fake love and real love, yes, they're different, but they're very similar. I know it's surprising to some people, but it's true. Like, all right, so let me start off on how they're similar. You see, whether it's real love or fake love, people who show either one are gonna be smiling in your face constantly. It doesn't matter if they had a bad day or a good day. That's the first thing they're always gonna do, smile at you. Especially when you approach them or whenever you talk to them. They're gonna act like they're listening. They're gonna act like they have some kind of interest in what you're saying on top of that. They're gonna tell you everything you wanna hear for, from them, you know? They're gonna tell you everything you wanna hear. Like, for example, say you're having a bad day and you decide to talk to two people, one who shows fake love and one who shows real love. You don't know who's who and which one is which. Here's a difference. Here's where the difference comes in. You see, your friend that's showing fake love, they're gonna encourage you to get over it. They're gonna start complimenting you, start saying stuff. Oh, you're too beautiful for this. You're too pretty for this. You're too strong and too hard to go through this. You should just leave it and go on with your life. They're gonna encourage you to not deal with the problem, just move on from it. While your friend that's showing real love is gonna sit down with you, talk with you, and actually give you solutions to your problems, stick by you, and make sure you get through your problems. As a matter of fact, once you tell your friend that's showing real love your problems, it's no longer a you problem. It's a you and them problem because they love you so much that they're willing to take all your problems, all your adversities that you go through, put it on their backs and stick by your side and not leave until that problem is solved. That's the difference between fake love and real love. When it comes to real love, they're gonna be by your side, help you, and they're never gonna leave you. As Medea would say, they're like roots on a tree. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. No matter what you go through, it don't matter how dark that cloud over you gets, they're always gonna stand right under it with you until it goes away. I know love is, you know, obviously we've been talking about this for a while. It's fucking huge. Love, yeah. is, love is a huge thing. Yeah, most definitely. Because of that, it can be very intimidating. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid to love? Um, to be honest with you, yes. As a matter of fact, I think it's pretty safe to say almost everyone is afraid to love. I'm very afraid to love because if I fall in love with you, if I start showing you love, if I give you my love, I don't know what your intentions are like. Yes, we've known each other for a very long time. Yeah, we've been up and down the road together, but sometimes, sometimes you've only shown me what you want, what you want me to see. Like, I don't know everything there is to know about you, and sometimes you could be hiding something from me that I don't know like you could be hiding something from me that I don't know about like how do I know that from the day we first met your intentions were to hurt me how do I know that you wanted to hurt me so bad that you was willing to get close to me for years and years just so you could take my love and run off with it you know those are some of the things that go through my mind every time I think about it every time I think about loving someone like and I know I'm kind of going off topic for a bit, but like, just bear with me. But sometimes I have a real funny, complicated way of expressing my love. Like, I truly believe in tough love, which means like, I'm with that lovey-dovey type shit. Like, 
I don't usually hug and kiss you and tell you I love you or express my feelings towards you. There's two reasons behind that one. Like, the first one, as I was growing up, that kind of shit was called gay or you being weak. Like, if you think about it, how often do you see someone express their love for someone, you know? When have you seen that mostly? You, like, you've seen that shit in movies. You don't see that shit in real life. And if you do, that shit is called being too emotional or you acting like a bitch or a pussy. You know, society puts labels on you when you do that kind of shit. And us, we look at that shit and we don't want to be clown. We don't want to have society put a label on us. So we barely say it. If you think about it, we usually say, I love you to our significant other on our wedding day or on the birthday or Valentine's Day or any special occasion. We usually say to our kids when we're having a deep conversation with them or they leave to go somewhere, we say it to our parents whenever they say it to us on a special occasion or sometimes even on their deathbed. By that time, it could be too late and it's just how we're brought up, you know? We look around, we don't see that lovey-dovey shit. We see tough love. So when we get older, that's what we show, tough love. It's all about what we've experienced when we were younger and reason number two as to why I'm afraid to love. Like I said before, I don't want your intentions of my love. Like, I don't know what your intentions of my love is. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna leave me after I give it to you? Are you gonna use it as leverage or are you gonna give me that same love back? I know we've uh, basically talked about everything regarding love and you know what love means. Um, you know we've covered what what everything, man. Um, we got one. I got one more question for you though. Do you love someone? Um, I'm not gonna go into I'm not gonna go into any details because I don't want her listening to this and putting the pieces together and finding out that I'm talking about her. I don't want her to realize I love her through here. I want to tell her face to face. So we're special, you know. Um, yes, we are very good friends. She's not a stranger or anything. I know her, she knows me, but what I will say is that she goes to my school, but that's all I'm gonna say. Like I said, I don't want her finding out through here, but yeah, I'm very much in love with her. So in love, I don't even care about having sex with her. You know, that's not my intentions. That's not why I want to be with her. But I would love to just walk through the park with her and just hold her hand, admire her, and just walk and talk about life and see where we want to go. You know, I want to do some shit like that with her. I want to show her a kind of love she's probably never have or never gonna experience with another boy. I wanna show her that there's a good man out here that is willing to walk a thousand miles through hell while walking on broken glass just to see her face again. There's someone who worships the shoes she puts on her feet every day. The love that she's gonna experience with me is gonna be like no other. Like, if she's with me, she's actually gonna be happy. She won't have to Worry about me cheating, me leaving, me crossing her, or not loving her. She will never have to worry about that. The love I'm gonna give her is gonna be something where she's probably gonna cry because she's never experienced that before. And it's gonna be amazing just to watch. I mean, she's very beautiful, super intelligent, and amazingly talented. She's extraordinary. She's just wonderful in every way I can imagine. Like, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever laid my eyes on. Like, in my eyes, she's perfectionist. She's everything I could ever want in a girl and more. Like, I swear, I could be having the worst day ever. I'm talking about a day where I just want to die. And all she got to do is just smile at me and give me that special hug. And every pain that I was feeling that day goes away. It just disappears. Like, she gives me life. She gives me a reason to live to see the next day. She, she's the reason why I actually stay up and pick out my best clothes to impress her. Like, she's the reason why I get up at five o'clock in the morning to pick my hair out 
put on my clothes and literally take a bath in cologne. Like, she's my world. She is the reason why I wake up in the morning. She's the reason why I want to live to see another day. She's my beginning and end. She's my everything. The woman with my wedding ring, she's my heart and soul. Like, ever since she entered my life, the rhythm of love has been on repeat. Like, every time I'm with her, it's... Every time I'm with her, it's fuck doing wrong, I wanna do right. She's the reason why I write good music. She's my inspiration, she's my muse. She's my, she paints perfection in my mind of her life. I, I get so deep into music whenever I talk to her, she brings the best out in me. Whenever she makes me, she makes me feel some type of way. Like, like there was this one time where she didn't show up for school. Yes, this is real. Like, this is a true story, I swear. There was a time where she didn't show up to school, and I was so worried that the entire day, I could not focus on my schoolwork. Like, I just couldn't. I would ask the teacher to use a bathroom and walk around the halls casually, but secretly, looking for her, and I was just worried that something may have happened to her. Like, I don't think she, I don't think she realizes what she means to me. Like, I ain't on no obsessive stalker type shit, but I think about her 24-7. I worry about her all day, every day. Like, I really want to make her happy. I really want her to be mine. I really do. I want to hold her in my arms. I want to hold her close to me to the point where we can hear each other's heartbeat. I want to look into her eyes and just look inside her soul and see how beautiful and amazing that is. I want to have those deep ass conversations. I want to have those deep conversation walks where we just walk when it's sunset and just talk about life and see where we're trying to go and just talk about how much we love each other and what we're willing to do for each other. I want to laugh with her. I want to have a good ass time with her. I want to show her things that other boys wouldn't show her. Like, like I love her so much that I would literally destroy any boy that comes near her. I would wipe them off of the face of this earth, never to be seen again. If they even try to fuck with her and like, like I said, I ain't on no obsessive stalker type shit, but when you really love someone, those are the kind of things you think, cause you just love them so much you're willing to do every and anything for them. And I could go on all day about the love I have for her, like, the love I have for her, it's unbelievable. It's something I don't think I'll be able to describe. I mean, I have this connection with her where it's, something I just really can't describe it's just the connection has mostly to do with the relationship with the relationship we we have like we can relate to music I love music as a matter of fact there was this one time when we first met and I got her number she started saying how she loves music and I called her and I told her to sing for me she was hesitant at first, but when she opened her mouth and she sang for me, it was the most sweetest, calmest melody I've ever heard. She sounded like an angel, and I was just blown away. And from that point on, as I started getting to know her better, my love for her just started to develop for her. She was just someone um, I could never let go. Like, I worry about her. I worry about her so much. I worry about her more than a mother worries about her son. I really do because I'm at home, she's at home, and with all the killing, destruction, pain that's going on in the world today, you never know the last time you're gonna see someone. I mean, one day they're, they're here and one day they're not. One day you're telling them how much you love them, the next you're telling them how much you love them, but this time it's in front of their casket. And it's a devastating and a travesty when someone loses the person they love, I mean, that kind of shit will break, kill, destroy anybody. It's the worst pain you could ever imagine. And I just hope and pray to God that that, that doesn't happen with me over her. I really hope one day I can have enough courage and strength to tell her all the things I'm telling you now to her face. I really hope one day I can just express the love I have for her in front of her. I really hope one day I can just be with her and spend the rest of my life with her because I love her.